We all know how the Tom Dea relationship started. Zendaya and Tom Holland were friends first and even dated other people for a while, but with the time they realized that they were meant for each other and confirmed their relationship status by Zendaya's phrase, I called my boyfriend. In this video, we'll go over all the times other people were third wheeling Tom Holland and Zendaya. So make sure you stay till the end so you don't miss out on anything. Let's start with Zendaya. Zendaya is a woman of many men dreams and no wonder that some guys want to steal her from Tom Holland. Even though the actress doesn't like to speak much about her private life, we've already got some information. Zendaya met Tom Holland back in 2016 on the set for Spider-Man. Even though not everyone realized what was going on between the two and they were romantically linked only in 2017, we assume that they started dating shortly after they first saw each other. At the time, they both stated that their relationship was strictly platonic and didn't want to confirm they were a thing. He's a great dude. He's literally one of my best friends, Zendaya told Variety in 2017. This past how many months, we've had to do press tours together. There are very few people that will understand what that's like at 20 years old. So in 2016, Zendaya was seen leaving a Grammys after party with Odell Beckham Jr. And many people were wondering if Zendaya was dating him. When the star was asked this question, her father called their outing an audition. Yeah, we know Zendaya's papa is overprotective, and he probably didn't approve of Odell for the role of his daughter's boyfriend. Here's the thing, a couple of things. First, it wasn't really a date. We went to some events together because we're friends. We were with the group. We were with multiple people. I was with my stylist and everything like that, Zendaya said. She then explained how it actually works when someone likes Zendaya and wants to meet her. This guy has to go through her father, which actually Odell apparently failed. But here's the thing, even if that does progress, you gotta go through my dad first, she said. Just because you're in the NFL, NFL, you kill and stuff, that doesn't mean you get to skip past Pops. He's not going to allow that to happen," the actress added. Then who was Zendaya talking about in 2017 when she opened up about her breakup? This guy was probably third wheeling the couple and that is why Zendaya couldn't get closer to Tom. Here is what she revealed about the breakup. Y'all know I'm not shy about telling you I went through a bad breakup last year. I'm hella over that, but trust, it wasn't easy, she said at the time. Here is how I got through it. I started forcing myself to have a lot more fun. I tried new things, going out, and just doing more stuff. She then revealed she got rid of old text messages, pictures, and his clothing she still had. Zendaya continued, You don't hang on to old band-aids. Throw that in the trash. You have to get rid of everything associated with them. It's best to get rid of their number. Or if you can't quite let go, at least change the title of their name in your phone. Obviously, Zendaya moved on from this ex-guy. But in Tom's life, there was also something going on. Back in 2016, the actor was still dating his ex, Elle Lotherington, who was actually his first public relationship. The last photo that she posted with Tom was in 2016, which she and Tom were in a car. She captioned it, so looking forward to you coming home. But it looks like since then they've called it quits. While Zunday was busy dealing with her mysterious breakup, Tom Holland had a short romance with Ella Purnell in 2017. The two were caught spending time together and being all flirty at the BAFTA after party hosted by Harvey Weinstein in London. Tom and Ella were very close inside the Weinstein party, and it looked really obvious that he was taken by her, a source told The Sun. The insider continued, he was out for a huge night and was leading her around the dance floor by hand. He had loads of people around him, even his mom, Nicola Frost, and at one point FaceTimed his friends from inside the venue. Tom and Ella went back to the Dorchester in separate cars. Tom had a room there, and she didn't. We assumed that in 2018, everything was already going on between Zenday and Tom. At least they were not dating other people. They were seen spending time together more and more, and Tom Holland even said that Zenday was helpful in the process of his life changing. He explained, because not not only are you making big films and you're traveling the world, but everyone starts to know who you are. He then continued, and you have to behave differently. You have a responsibility to kind of uphold this idea of being a role model to young kids, and arguably, she's the best at that. You can't really find anything against Zendaya, she's kind of like the perfect person. But then something changed.
changed because in Zendaya's life appeared a new man, Jacob Alordi. The two met on set for Euphoria and in 2019 sparked dating rumors after they were spotted on vacation together in Australia and Greece. Jacob and Zendaya have been seeing each other for months now, a source told E! back in February 2020. They started as close friends but it became romantic after their show ended. They have been inseparable since last summer and have been making time for each other between projects. Even though the two denied their relationship, the pair once again was seen kissing in New York City in February 2020. But even if they dated, it didn't last long because shortly after, Jacob allegedly started seeing another girl, Kaya Gerber. It is even sad that the actor dumped Zendaya for this girl so two were seen on a date on Zendaya's birthday. In 2019, Tom was dating Olivia Bolton until they split up in April 2020. Olivia was a friend and she was the first to be photographed with Tom flirting and being cozy at the British Summertime Festival in London's Hyde Park. A source revealed at the time, Tom and Olivia's family have been friends for years, but it took some time for Tom and Olivia to realize the connection between them. The insider said, Tom's been dogged with rumors about who he's dating, so finally being public with Olivia has been a massive release for him. In April, it was announced that the two broke up and in early June, he was romantically linked to another person. Nadia Perkins. Even though this information wasn't really confirmed by Tom Holland, it was reported that the two allegedly quarantined together. It was early days for Tom and Nadia when the lockdown was announced in London, a source told Daily Mail. They made the decision to isolate together and things have been going great between them. Tom has told friends and family they're in an official relationship and living together so soon into their romance has only made them stronger. Things started getting a bit hotter when Zendaya was rumored to be romantically linked with her Dune co-star. The two were seen spending time together even though at the time of the photo, Tom Holland and Zendaya kissing in the car was leaked. Afterwards, the duo started sharing photos of one another to their respective Instagram accounts, with Tom calling her My MJ and Zendaya calling him My Spider-Man in separate posts. But let's come back to Timothy. People were wondering what was going on between Zendaya and him no matter how hard Zendaya tried to explain to everyone that he was just her close friend. Maybe this narrative didn't work because Zendaya's already used this card to explain her relationship with Tom Holland, and we all eventually saw her calling him my boyfriend. Zendaya and Timothy were spotted together spending time in New York City Bed Bath & Beyond locations, so fans were quick to run to Twitter with tweets like, Timothy and Zendaya hanging out, say oh god. For some people, it really seemed like Zay and Tim were more than just friends, but this tension calmed down when Timothy called Zendaya bestie when he wrote his congrats post on Zay's birthday. Happy birthday! to one of the most inspiring people I've met on my short journey. Someone with the strongest ethical character and moral compass that is in harmony with a totally fearless creative abandon. Happy birthday, Zendaya. Hope your day is beautiful, friend," he wrote at the time. Zendaya responded to Timothy, Yo, you about to make me tear up over here, man. Thank you for this. I appreciate you very much. Zendaya once again reminded everyone that they are just friends during her February 2021 appearance on The Late Show with Stephen Colbert. Timothy has become one of my closest friends and he's lovely and so talented. I think my favorite part was we would have these like dance parties in my room where I would leave the door open, Timothy would come in with his little speaker and then everybody would start coming in and we would just start dancing. Do you think any of these people ever had a chance to end up with Tom or Zay? Let us know in the comment section down below. We'll see you in the next episode. Bye.